Welcome everyone to a fan favorite racetrack, Lucas Oil Speedway, best known as Indianapolis Raceway Park. I'm Mikey McGlam, your commentator and driver of the Valvoline Green Machine, ready once again for some good old fashioned short track action. Just one year ago, last summer, we took part in the SRX series at this very track, and the end of the race resulted in a thriller of a battle between Tony Stewart and myself. We will have to see if we can have similar success here tonight under the lights at Indy. Brian Ramirez leads us to the line, green flags in the air, let's bring the noise at IRP. First lap of the race is complete. Brian Ramirez out to an early lead, I believe followed by Harry Nelson as we're just kind of mired back in traffic here, kind of going half throttle throughout the entire racetrack. Oh, just dive to the inside of Ricky Campbell. Now trying to get inside of Devin Reynolds. We get to his left rear, shoot him up the racetrack. Being a little bit more aggressive than we're normally characteristically known for, but we had to get him up out of the way. And oh man, we overdrove turn number three that time. That's all right. We do manage to still catch up to the back markers here. Into the inside of Eric Erickson. We'll be looking on to the inside of Bobby Young here shortly, but yeah. Yeah, I, I know I said um, I've got some explaining to do as we cut our way through the field here. This this should be a this should be pretty um, pretty pretty easy race, um, you know, easy march up to the front I should say. But I've got some explaining to do. I know that uh, I was supposed to kind of have these races done in August, I believe. I think that was actually the goal was to have. Um, this particular race in August, um, but unfortunately, uh, we were we got sick, and we were not able to really, um, to really record any of these races. Um, I barely, barely got the, uh, um, the Chase for the Fantasy Cup race out, and I was sick during that race. I was at Chicago Land, so unfortunately, we had to further postpone these and then September's just been it's been a very 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 busy month but we're now here trying to get back on track you should see a race this Saturday night this is this particular race obviously and then next Friday will be Slinger and then the Friday after that uh, will be the next super late model race but we're already about to uh, crack the top 10 here shortly. Gonna try to get around the 116 to Billy Green. Clear him pretty easily. Trying to catch up to Robbie Collins right now. The 53 has just taken over the race lead, Eddie Crawford. So I don't know where he started. I know that um, both, well, they're also in mired in, in lap traffic. So that definitely could have played a factor. There's a big gaggle of cars up there. Woo! Got a little bit loose off of four that time. Definitely a big gaggle of cars that the leaders had to get around. So I wonder if there were some issues that were, uh, that happened up front that led to Eddie Crawford taking over the race lead, the points leader. Looking to extend that margin. We've cracked ourselves into the top 10. Now looking to get around Ricky Cox in the 105. Up into P9. And I, we're actually not that far off the leader this time around. Usually, like, they're at least like a half a lap to, or, you know, plus ahead of us. But we're not doing too bad this time around. We actually got through the cut through the field pretty quick. Oh, man. Oh, really, really tight there. Looks like I caught that gaggle of cars that the leaders caught. 
But uh, we're also going to manage our tire wear. That, that's a big thing. You know, we, we have to manage our tire wear. I have that on more effect. So, I know I said like earlier on, I said it was uh, in Stafford. I said it was on like times four. But no, you don't have times four or anything like that. You just have more effect, less effect, and normal. But we have that on more effect just to try to give us a bit more of a challenge. You know, the AI tires fall off, you know. Figure it just be, especially with you know with a with a modified engine. Like obviously, this is still close to what NASCAR Heat uh, Heat Four and Heat Five are, but just you know more heavily modified. We get to the inside of Tommy Bailey. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. I think that was that was Murphy. Tommy Murphy spins out, brings out the first caution of the night. But here we go. We're going to start on the outside lane. Not ideal. Eddie Crawford going to lead us back to the line. Here we go. Green flag is back in the air. Uh, I tried to lay off the gas a little bit to try to get to the inside. Oh, man. I had to really force my way down there. We fall back to P7. Let's see if we can try to work on Bailey here. If we get to that inside, not quite. He is really protecting it. Tommy Bailey is not having any of it, but he decides to th think better of it this time around. We get to his inside. Harry Nelson currently running second, looking to the inside of Eddie Crawford. We're trying to catch up to Stafford winner Samantha Bell. Make our way into the top five. Maybe we can make a run for the for the lead here. No promises, but we do get to the inside of the 45. Briar Ramirez, who started on the pole. Currently running P4. Running just about a half a lane up. That seems to be working for him, but... He's definitely having some trouble trying to get around that X90 of Chase Jones. We Man, we had a big runoff turn number four. Wow. Five laps to go as we get to the inside of Brian Ramirez. Ooh, we're going to get to the inside of Chase Jones. Yes, we are. He gives us room on the inside. Now work's going to get cut out for us. We have to try to get around the four of Harry Nelson. Oh, couldn't quite get our nose in there just yet. Back up behind the four. Inside. Oh, he closes the closes the door once again. Harry Nelson protecting that position. Oh, did we get a run? Did we get a run? Can we go to the inside? Mmm, that Harry, he's hey, he's hanging tough. He's hanging tough. We're still side by side. Little contact down the back straight away as we go into turn three. Brian Ramirez tried to look to the very inside. Got on the apron of the racetrack there. He backs out of it, but we're up into P2 with two laps to go. Okay, we catch up to the 53 of Eddie Crawford. Trying to work our way back into that all-important points lead before this season is up. Crawford is running some really hot laps here. One more time around for Eddie Crawford. Oh, is lap traffic going to play a factor? He's catching up on some really slow cars. We're starting to reel him in. Oh, we've caught him. We jump to the outside. Oh, but he just squeezes by. And oh, we spin across the finish line. Still finishing second, but we crash at the end of the race. Eddie Crawford is your race winner. All right, guys, so here are the race results for the Super Late Model Series race here at Lucas Oil, AKA IRP. Eddie Crawford is your race winner. I just couldn't catch him. I just couldn't catch him, but uh, we finished a solid second place. Wild finished on the end there. Caught him at the, the very last corner, but Tires just couldn't handle it at the end of it. Um, I guess I'm assuming I just popped a tire off of turn number four there, but 
it is what it is. Uh, Brian Ramirez comes in third. Harry Nelson in fourth. Rounding out the top five is Chase Jones. Samantha Bell finishes sixth. Seventh is Tommy Bailey. Eighth is Ned Hill. Ninth is Kevin Murphy. Rounding out the top ten is Ricky Cox. And here's the rest of the field where you can pick out your favorite driver. We have about 16 cars that finished on the lead lap. Norm Gray is the only car to finish two laps down here in the race. And here are the point standings after Lucas Oil. We are still sitting P3 in the points. Eddie Crawford is firmly up in the lead, especially after his win today at IRP. Uh, seven, uh, the 71 of Brian Ramirez is currently in second. We're only six points behind him. Uh, we might be able to do something at Slinger. We'll have to see. Harry Nelson is in fourth and rounding out the top five is Samantha Bell. This was Eddie Crawford's second win of the season with Brian Ramirez, myself, and Samantha Bell all gathering one win in the Super Late Model Series. And there you have it, guys. There is the race at IRP. I was, I wanted that win. I wanted that win. But at the end of the end of the day, Eddie just had the car to beat. Um, at the end of the race, there I was trying. I was trying. the The car was uh, super loose at the uh, towards the end of the run. There, it was quite a bit of a handful. Um, but you know, everyone else also had to deal with the uh, the issue of being on old tires, and you know, the tires get hot and slick and start wearing down i'm pretty sure i was down in like the 50s or 40s or something um yeah what happened off turn four was wild um like i said the only thing i could think of is i must have popped a tire or something because it, it just snapped around on me and i was like whoa what, <laughs> what just happened but um yeah so tire management is definitely going to be a thing if i were to ever come back to irp tire management would definitely be a thing that i have to deal with but all in all, solid race at the end there. Second place, can't be too mad with that, but I would like to climb back up into the points lead. I would like to do that. We'll see what we could do at Slinger. Uh, Slinger has been one of those tracks where even on like the D, it's one of the easier tracks in the game, if not the easiest. Um, it's just one of those where like, even like on the default setups you can run some super fast laps around there and the ai really can't keep up with you all that much so um we're gonna do what we can there we're gonna do what we can there maybe we can come out with another win i may have to go ahead and just bump up the race length because yeah slinger is a really short racetrack and these guys are going to be super super in the way so i've got to really kind of take my time to kind of get around those guys but i don't know i'll think about it i'll think about it um either way guys sorry that i'm getting this to you late like i said uh, or like post commentary mikey said i was just if i didn't get sick i would have been fine but wound up getting sick and it just kind of ruined the whole month of august um so but we're catching back up we're catching back up we'll get through these in september get right back on schedule and uh we'll be going from there so anyway thank you guys so much for tuning into the super late model regulation series here on mcblam racing if you enjoy these races be sure to subscribe click the notification bell leave a like on the video you do not want to miss an episode We're going to try to come back next week for slinger we know that's going to be super exciting so i'm looking forward to it and hopefully you are too until then thanks so much for watching i'll see you at slinger <laughs>